but believe you me it's a crisis and i and what i am happy about is that all the countries represented here are actually moving forward to take whatever steps they need to take to meet this crisis the circumstances are different so the steps and the scale would be different yeah, every country has different circumstances but the steps and the scale would be different we recognize that the need for action is manifest the trend towards uh, reaping profits as fast as profits as possible as fast as possible has been going on for some time now this has pushed up the prices of fossil fuel sources of energy to such an extent that for many countries especially at the margins it's become very difficult and that's what we see on our television screens today in this crisis the price of coal went up to about 150 dollars a ton 150 dollars a ton now that's much more expensive than you know renewable plus storage so it makes it, it just by one step made renewable plus storage which is round the clock renewable viable and once you have round the clock renewable that means renewable with storage viable then that's the end of the story for fossil fuels so that's the stage at uh, which we are at and uh, we have the biggest we are the biggest market in renewables for the past 4 5 years we have been the biggest market in the world for renewables and we have also emerged as the most attractive market for investment in renewables so every bid is hotly contested every major fund in the world is invested in our country through uh, in the renewable energy field but the events of the last 9 months i think are forcing us to think more deeply about energy transition because i think an amnesia about energy security had settled over the world and that amnesia has now been ended by an energy shock because the energy crisis as the minister said did not start on february 24th when russia invaded ukraine it began about a half year earlier uh with shortages of coal then natural gas and then oil one is the importance of stability of supply we don't have scale large scale battery storage yet it needs to be balanced we see in parts of the united states where you've seen instability in electricity in uh california blackouts brownouts rolling brownouts in california and it's because uh over reliance on renewables without the stability stabilizing factor of uh the other things that you need like natural gas indeed the california was about to shut down its last nuclear power plant it's now considering maybe it shouldn't do that uh that would make their situation more difficult yes the cost of renewables uh has come down enormously in my previous book the quest i you know really would delve deeply into the history the modern history of wind and solar and for the first 40 years they were not economic now of course they're economic uh costs have gone down dramatically scale has gone up we will be off of russian coal in a few weeks first of august complete sanction zero volume of coal from russia it used to be 40% of our coal mix um oil used to be 40% of our oil mix will be zero at, on the 31st of december 22 renewables are now officially declared a preeminent in the preeminent public interest of the federal republic of germany and in our public security interest what does that mean massive acceleration of planning times we no longer have to take into account every bird that may cross the pathway of a wind farm one of our biggest fear of course as an export oriented nation is that the differences in approach by uh, to reach carbon neutrality will engender new trade conflicts the risk that we will see bam each other into new trade hostility due to the different approaches to carbon neutrality is a real one and we have proposed the idea that was endorsed by the G7 of a climate club to make this effort of of climate neutrality by the middle of the century a cooperative one this is not a G7 only exclusive club this is an open club where we want to invite 
any country that is willing to share the goals of climate neutrality by 2050 and embark on this journey towards a more ambitious pathway um, together in an open and inclusive way. 